Hi everyone, it's uh, Flying JJ here. I am um, having some issues with my Tyrannus radio. I've had this since about May. It's a great radio. Um, the issue that I'm having is, you know, some of you might have run into this as well, is the throttle springing back up once you have it at zero. So when you turn it on, you're getting that constant. Um, well, Welcome take a look. Tyrannus. Get the throttle warning. Throttle warning. Uh, I mean, you can set it down to zero and off you go, but uh, I don't like it. Another thing I'm not liking is uh, the, the ratcheting in the throttle. Uh, as I fly primarily multi-rotors, I want to be able to set it and have greater control. What I find is as it's ratcheting, it's skipping values for that throttle, and you, you can't really dial it in to a, a solid hover if you don't have a barometer set up on your your multi-rotor flight controller which is, is something that I don't regularly use so uh, basically what I'm going to be doing today is popping the back off and adjusting the springs inside and removing that ratcheting mechanism on the throttle so I don't have an issue now before you start of course make sure your radio is powered down and you do remove the battery from the back of the radio and set that aside because you're going to need it once you do have the radio on. Now what I like, because I don't want to have the radio sitting on my uh, work mat here, is the transmitter case that I have for a spectrum radio has this nice insert that comes out. It's just foam. It's great. Holds the sticks on. You don't got to worry about it. Now to open the back of the radio, you're looking at uh, six screws. Phillips number twos. Um, and again, you just unscrew those and set them aside somewhere you're not going to lose them. That's what's great about these work mats. You don't have to worry about losing all your stuff because they got these little cutouts here, which is great. I mean, you can, especially when working with smaller parts. When I got into the hobby, I was primarily working with helicopters and while dealing with linkages and swatch plates and all that fun stuff you tend to lose your parts quite easily and I mean if they're bouncing off that rubber mat will absorb most of the bounce and the shock and you're good to go now these two screws aren't going to come out as easy they will when I flip the radio over more than likely there's no screws hiding behind that um, that module hatch which is nice oh, missed a thread or two there now what you gotta watch with this radio the Tyrannus here these two screws actually hold the unit together so what I like to do just taking a pair of small needle nose pliers now these are really small I don't know if you have these sitting around I've seen people use a paper clip or um, a flathead screwdriver but once you just give that a turn I mean, they're only hand tight, and you don't have to take them right off, which is nice. They'll sit right on there, and you'll be still be able to open the transmitter case, no problem. Now, another thing, once you do have these open, these switches are going to want to go come out. So what you can do is flip those switches forward. So now you know that these switches go in this direction once you, you take them out, because you might end up, you know, mixing them up a little bit. That'll help. So the case will just pop right off nice and easy. And you get your insides of your radio. Now, I mean, if you didn't switch those forward or you didn't feel like it, another thing is brown faces up, red faces the face of the transmitter. Okay, so that's it nice and open. Now, you see, this is our throttle here. And the mechanism for the, the, the spring, rather, is this screw here. So as you see... I don't know if you could see it in the video, but as I'm pushing down on it, it's popping right back up. So, again, you could take, um, I got a Phillips number one here. It's a little smaller. It will sit in there nice and easy. And just loosen that screw up until that spring action goes away. If loosening the screw doesn't work, tighten it up. Now what I'm going to do is 
plug that battery back in. Now, of course, always be very careful when plugging the battery in and having your electronics open. You don't want any kind of sh electrical shock. And we're going to put that all the way to the bottom there and fire it up. Welcome to Toronto's. Switch warning. Now, of course, we have a switch warning because we have our two switches SA and SD in the forward position, which they don't like. So we'll just snap those right back to their off position or neutral. And that'll get us back in. Okay, so we have repaired that balancing throttle, which is good by loosening that screw. And what it does, let me just power the radio back down. Remove my battery so I can give you guys a better view. Loosening and tightening this screw here actually moves this block up and down. Now inside the radio, once you're looking at it, you'll see there's a small spring in here. So what that's doing is it's putting tension on that screw, or sorry, on that spring, and alleviating our issue more or less. More than less, actually. So now to deal with this ratcheting motion, now if you look inside the radio here, you'll see this barb, or bracket rather, is what's giving us our ratcheting motion. And this piece of plastic here is rubbing up against here, which is giving a ratchet. So technically, if we loosen this off as much as we can until we get it to how we like it, and what you can do is just take your screwdriver on there and loosen it up. And I mean, it only took me maybe three quarters of a turn, and I've lost all ratcheting altogether. I mean, if I tighten that down, keep going just a little bit, I mean, I could start to feel the ratchet coming back. So again, I don't like the ratcheting, so I'm gonna get rid of it entirely. And again, it only took about three quarters of a, a turn and we're done. So now I'm gonna throw everything back together. Again, now, I, when I turned the radio on, I had to turn those switches back on, but like I said, the brown wire faces up, red wire facing down. So I can push those any way I like. If you wanna put them forward right now, that's great. And then we can just start putting our radio back together. You might have to pull these up just a little bit just to get them seated properly. You don't have to put them in all together right now. You see one of those screws I told you would fall out of the top here has come out. So we'll just put it on and tighten these down. Now when you're tightening the radio down, when you, you what you want to do is almost go in a, a, a star pattern or crisscross. So I did this screw. I want to do this screw next. We can put our battery back in. cover back on. And I notice with these 2000 milliamp batteries, I'm not sure if the guys with the 800s or 1200s are having an issue. I notice it being just a, a little bit bigger. It doesn't want to sit in there as nice. I'm going to be looking at putting a LiPo battery in there. I picked up uh, it's a, a little bit bigger. I'm going to have to modify the case a little bit. But that fits in there snug. Throttle down. Oh, and we can't forget closing our switches, tightening these down. Again, with these little needle nose pliers are quite handy. Tighten those down. They don't need to be super tight. I mean, they're not moving or anything. You're just moving that switch as long as uh, you keep checking on those every once in a while. Makes it look nice. And then um, we're throttle down. I mean, that, that's nice and smooth. There's no ratcheting to that whatsoever. Turn Welcome that on. And we should not get that throttle warning anymore. Perfect. And if we go into the menu, or sorry, if we hold page rather, push page over, you see our throttle starting at minus 100. And that's because I have a, I have a throttle lock on there. And that's it. That's how you get your spring Free. Welcome to Toronto's.
thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for a little bit more. I'm sure I'm going to have a video up again, either with a build or uh, putting that LiPo in there because I'm going to have to modify that case. Happy flying.